Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today I'm filming week four of our declutter and organizing challenge. We will be focusing on the kids closet and their toys. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like videos on cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. Today we'll be in two homes. We're going to start here in my home where we're going to go ahead and declutter and organize my toy shelf and we'll also clean and declutter the play area. And then we're headed over to my middle daughter's house where we're gonna clean and organize her three-year-old son's closet and we're also gonna be adding space for a new baby brother due in July. Okay, let's get started in the toy area. If this is your first time here and you would like to follow along in our challenge, I have a free printable for you. Just send me an email and I'll get it right to you. My email address is written here, and I also have it down in the description box. It's never too late to follow along with us. Each week has a bite-sized task that are easy to fit into your cleaning schedule for the week. The majority of these tasks should take about an hour or so, depending on your situation. But regardless, you have a week to complete it. After we complete the six months, every major area of your home will have been decluttered or organized, and all you have to do is to add these areas into your zone cleaning to help keep them tidy. Today, we'll be working on the kids' closets and their toys. If you don't have children in your home, or if the ones that you have are older, then this would be a good time for you to organize your guest room closet and a game cabinet. These are the things that I focus on when I'm working on the closet and the toys. We'll go ahead and start with the toys since that's where I'm starting here. First, I purge the toys of missing or broken items. Then I categorize like items. I choose containers and bins that will make it easy for your children to keep things picked up. Store away toys that are wanted but are not age appropriate. And the same thing pretty much goes for the closet. I purge, categorize, and I hang clothes on matching hangers. I bought these bins from Amazon. They match my other three that I bought last year. I've decided to do something a little different with my toy shelf this time, so I needed the extra three bins. I also use the Ziploc bags to help categorize like items. Okay, enough talking. Let's get started. Today, my little helper is here to help me. If you get a chance, try to involve your kids on the organizing portion. My little guy's a little too young yet to, to appreciate the purging, but he's really good when it comes to organizing. Yes, the little guy is purposely shooting himself in the head.
I used to love my Swiffer mop for quick cleanups, but in this house, my floors aren't a slick glaze. They're more matte and the pad drags, making it impossible to get a good clean. See what I mean? It's so annoying. I need to go ahead and pass this on to one of my girls. Okay, now I'm wiping down the shelves with Thieves Cleaner. I've decided that I'm going to rearrange these shelves so that they better fit this area. I'm going to stand them up taller so that I have extra floor space on either side for toys and containers. I show you what I ended up putting in the containers, I'm going to go ahead and head over to this side of the room to clean and declutter these things. This play area the kids call the kitchen area. It has their kitchen and a register and a table for when they play restaurant or store. I also keep some of their larger items over here and out of the way of the main areas. As you can see, everything needs a good wipe down. So I'm going to use the thieves and get it all taken care of and then I'll organize the food into the bin and I'll get everything back into its place. channel let me introduce myself my name is Michelle I'm the mom to three moms and a son I started this channel because I wanted to encourage mothers to reclaim peace in their homes through cleaning organizing and setting up schedules I hope that you will subscribe and join with us as we reclaim peace in our homes Okay, here's everything all clean, organized, and tidied up. My little guy can't wait to come over here and get to playing. And here's the after over here in the toy shelf area. I think I really like these shelves up higher like this. I went ahead and put the books and the other things on top. These are the things that I typically like for them to ask me to have. Right over here in this top bin are all the baby toys. So the bigger kids won't be getting into this. I'll be pulling it down for the little ones. In this bin, I keep this little writing tablet 
and I have games and puzzles in here. This one is their little wooden train track. They like to take this bin and pull it over to the carpet to play with it. And in here are the Legos. In this one are their musical toys and balls and a few little cars. And up in this top one, I have just a little um, game that they like to play with and some little odds and ends that I put into that Ziploc bag. And over to either side, I have the bin with the big blocks in it and I also have their little cars and wagons on the other side. I really, really like how this turned out. What do you think? If you're enjoying this video, would you please give me a thumbs up? It really helps me in the YouTube world. Okay, now we're heading over to my daughter's. These are all the things that we're going to be using to organize with. Okay, see you over there. Here is my grandson's closet. My daughter already keeps this pretty organized, but she says she has a lot of purging to do. Once we get that done, we'll be swapping out all my three-year-old grandson's hangers for velvet lined toddler hangers. They're a little bit bigger than the hangers that he's using now. She's also already stored some new items here for the new grandbaby coming in July. We'll hang all his stuff on newborn plastic hangers. Matching hangers just makes everything feel more cohesive. These are the things that I bought from Amazon for this closet. We're going to use these little hangers to divide up the clothes into sizes. And these are the velvet hangers that I bought. They're a little bit bigger than the newborn size. These are the toddler size. And then I have this little caddy that I used to use when my kids were younger. And I think this would be really cute in this closet. Okay, let's go ahead and get to working in here. Another quick tip is to try to color coordinate your clothes. I like to keep all my long sleeves to one side and I color coordinate those and then I do my short sleeve on the other side and I color coordinate those. It really makes the, the closet look cohesive.
Okay, this is the bin that I used to use with my kids when they were young. However, this one keeps twisting around, so I don't really like it. And I may have to go ahead and get something different. But this is how I used it. I would store their clothes from Monday through Friday in their bins. So they knew exactly what they were gonna wear. I only had to fold the clothes and put them in there one day a week. And if it was chilly outside, they would just grab a little jacket to go along with their outfit. Okay, here's the finished closet. This right here is the newborn side. Everything looks very nice and put together. I love all the matching hangers. This is the three-year-old side. See how everything color coordinated makes it look very nice. We cleaned off the top of the shelf so that we can start storing diapers up here and other baby things. These are all the things that we purged and the things that will end up going to Goodwill. She wasn't kidding. She had a lot to give away. Okay, my daughter's happy, my grandson's happy, and this closet is very happy that it got done. Okay, friends, I hope that you got a lot of ideas on cleaning and organizing your kids' closet and toys, and that you now have the motivation to get it all done this week. Would you please like this video if you found this video to be helpful? It really helps YouTube know that you're getting what you need from my videos. So please give it a big thumbs up Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. I'll see you next week. Stay blessed, my friends.